Today I will explain how to get some games on your HP Prime calculator. This is pretty easy if you know what to do, but it may be a bit hard to understand when you're doing this for the first time. The things you need are of course the HP Prime itself, a USB cable, the HP connectivity kit on your computer and some games. The link to the connectivity kit and a place where you can get these games will be down in the description below. This should work for both Windows and Mac users. So once you have downloaded and installed the HP connectivity kit, open it up. Sometimes it will say you need to update the firmware of your calculator and if you get the message, just do it. If you don't get, if you don't get this message anymore, you can click the icon in the top left corner and you can see your calculator. Over here you can rename your calculator. Mine is called to my name. And as you can see, the things I've opened up already are programs and my app library. These are the places you will be installing your games. So like said, there are two types of games, programs and apps. The programs look like this. It will be a .hppr GM file, HP program file. And the installation is pretty simple. I'm going to install Air Hockey. And just select the file and drag it onto programs. As you can see, it is just added over here. Now, if you take a look at my screen of my calculator, so if you press Shift plus program, you can see it goes to your programs. And here, select the app you just uh, installed. For me, it was Air Hockey, and click Run. Be sure to don't press Enter, but click Run. Otherwise, you can edit the app. So if you click Run, you can see I have a red um, Air Hockey thing. And if I press another time, I have also a blue one. This is around 30 FPS and real time on your calculator. But because I use the HP connectivity kit, it won't be shown that great. So here you can hit the puck and it will go around and you can play a game. There are many of these little games which are pretty fun to play. So to exit, press shift and on. And here you can see the app was stopped. If you want to install an actual app, again, be sure to download it. And the sample is Flappy Bird. Um, it, it will be an HP app there. And it will be a folder this time. So once you have this folder, again select it and drag it onto your app library. I already had this app and it is called Flappy Bird, you probably know this. And if you press apps on your calculator, like shown here, it will take you to your apps. Here scroll down and the last one will be the app you just installed. For me it was Flappy Bird. So tap it to open it and again this will be in real time on your actual calculator and it will be a bit slower on my inner screen because I use the USB cable. So like you see it is Flappy Bird and it works pretty fine. It is pretty hard to get the hang of though. Oh, I lied. So not all apps may work and if it doesn't just go to the program, right click and press delete and OK. And now the app will be deleted from your actual uh, calculator to save some space. 